pretty hard thinking you white hot man of the hour but you just can't figure how you flavor went sour back in 89 p.e bought the power and in 86 big daddy came was wrong and i was right there on the first floor of the palladium you never played a venue local college or stadium a young boy's pen and pad fat is now a grown man's profession to learn this is a blessing it still should have me guessing learn because i'm testing follow this down no question no doubt check it out All right, goes this camper again. Coming around all these trucks, we got like about four or five trucks instead of kind of stuff. This is actually a good time to have a, uh, you know, hand street camp, gas camp, because these freaking four wheelers, man, they get so stupid with what they're doing. Can't just be stupid. You gotta watch out for them. And you know, if something happens, the first thing they're gonna say, oh, it wasn't my fault, you know, you did this and that, whatever, you know. I mean, it's really good that you have a camera. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need it. It might be one of a thousand, you know, one of a thousand times, but a thousand times, if it's a camp, well, it's gonna pay for so. Whether it be a gas camp, like right now, I'm just using my cell phone. Hey, who's holding up the child line, man? Come on now. The truck are coming through. Where the bears at? Anyways, man, we're right here at the pilot and stuff, you know, um, it's been a while since I've been through here and stuff, last time, last time I've been through here, I don't think this is the pilot and stuff, but anyways, you know, that's one of our feeling stuff, we just happen to, a company allows us to stop at any big major feeling spot and stuff, so, I'm uh, kind of fortunate that, uh, that this came up right here, anyways, man, I, I kind of, you know, I'm still kind of reeling over the last couple of days and stuff. My first couple of days are really hard and stuff. You know, I start off at 10 stops. We don't start running until like about 10 o'clock at night. So, you know, I'm trying to get as far as I can, you know, before I get tired. You know, then I get tired and then, you know, uh, pull over, sleep, wake up as early as I can, legally and stuff. The first couple of days, I'm running a provisional log. Um, the trips are usually about a thousand miles. This one's a thousand miles up, and then after that, I, I dead head back. So, um, you know, but it could vary. It could be a little more, it could be a little less and stuff. Um, the first, first couple of nights is really hard, man. We got like about 10 stops, we got to run hard. We start at 10 o'clock at night. Um, you know, you get like about, usually it's about 300 miles out, 300, 350 miles out and stuff. Then I started my first stop. I hit like, you know, a lot of times they're about 30, 40 miles apart from each other. And I'll hit like in a, in a populated area like the bay. I'll run into the bay somewhere around there. Starting with uh, Salinas, you know, coming out of LA. And then, um, you know, and I'll go all throughout the, the bay through San Jose, uh, you know, all that bay area, Oakland area, uh, San Rafael up there. Sometimes it'll be like a Bay 99 run, 
what we call it and stuff. You know, I hit over there Sacramento and Stockton. And then sometimes they even got that. You know, I got to hit Stockton and all those areas. It'd be like, that trip only be like about a thousand miles total, 14 stops on it and stuff. Uh, and, and that's when it works. In the first couple of days, shit, man, I didn't only get a chance to do my paperwork till like, you know, a couple of nights into the run. This was uh, actually a, what we call a Bay, Oregon run. Stuff. So uh, I'm coming up to the Bay now, I'm going up to Oregon and stuff. And, uh, a lot of times we go up to Portland. Um, I'm not going that far. I'm going to go to Eugene. I've got a couple of stops in between there. I had one up here in Northern California ready. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to hit the stops in Long Bay and those, those areas up there to Oregon. And I got, you have like about four, five, even more. I only got, I only got like four stops of coming up here in this Northern California, Oregon area. But, uh, you know, a lot of times it could be more, it could be uh, eight, it's usually about eight stops, you know, coming up to Oregon. Yeah, but a lot of times I don't get to do my paperwork until like couple, two or three days into the, uh, into the trip. Now, our, pay, our, our company requires us to do a ton of paperwork. You got kind of like a lot of paperwork and stuff. I do two trip packs. I got two inspection sheets. I got one for the rental company, uh, one for the uh, DLT, the logs. I always do the ones on the back of the logs, right? You know, because regardless of what the company's having to do for the company, I got to, um, you know, we got to deal with the DLT at the same time. So I found out two inspection sheets, got to get all my fuel receipts, my bills, you know, like I was saying, we may have like 10, 14 stops, trying to organize that. Fell two trip packs, one for the rental company. They want they want to show like, you know, the, the wear on the vehicle, you know, what we're doing, how much fuel we're using. I guess, um, I don't know, somehow the, the rental company's taking care of the fuel, or the fuel spots, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, sometimes it gets pretty hectic, man. You wouldn't believe how many trucks are over here. There's a lot. You got fucking um, two trucks at the fuel arm, um, third truck out, not even at the spot yet. And when this place used to be full and packed like this, always at, when it was a truck stop before, but not not quite like not quite like this. Not this early. Okay, you get a lot of trucks come through here. But it really wouldn't get packed like this until like later on. So weed California. Well we don't weed right now. An unusual name for a city, huh? Me, California. Kind of fitting, you know, they smoke so much weed out here. Especially see everyone always talks about that Northern Cal uh, weed area. So, uh, supposedly that's supposed to be the kind. Okay. Of course, I wouldn't know anything about that, right? Maybe back in the day, it's not anymore, though. Guy did not park and then go inside, did he? Come on, man. Come on now. What are you in there or what? Oh, yeah, he sure did. something you know I mean you get all these trucks I mean it already makes it irritating man but you got inconsiderate people just doing stuff like this man I mean I, I've already been here for like about 15 minutes I probably just went inside now I gotta wait for him you know he's gonna take his crap or whatever and stuff um 
it's just kind of irritating, you know, when you got holdups like this. Part of the job, I know, but it would have been nice if he would have pulled up, you know.